your coach Adam Fisher and Asir Miller. Start with some opening comments from coach and then questions for Asir first. Note, Asir tied a career high with five three-pointers in the game. Uh, look, disappointed in the result, uh, disappointed in our effort and our energy in the first half. Uh, it hasn't been where it's been the last two weeks, um, so we have to be better. Uh, you're not going to win going 11 for 22 at the foul line at home. We just talked about that. We've got to be more locked in. Our focus, uh, for whatever reason, wasn't there to start. And uh, This is a story we've all seen. Claw back, claw back, claw back, can't get over the hump. So I thought we were able to do that the last three games, so disappointed that we, we didn't do it tonight. Uh, I'm disappointed for our seniors. Um, I'm sure it's going to be asked. Those are four guys that graduate academically. Three guys have a year of remaining. One guy's out of eligibility, Sam. So there's nothing else to read into. Why was this guy on senior day? Why wasn't it? It's that simple, but I always think you got to play harder on senior day for those seniors. It's a different world in college basketball. You have a senior class where guys spent four years at Temple, three years at Temple, I believe, two years at Temple, I believe, and one year. That's the new norm in college athletics on senior day. Uh, so disappointed for those guys because you want to come out on senior day and, uh, and give it all you got. So with that, questions for us here. Is your last possession, did you want to get it moving a little faster, whatever you guys were trying to set up? We just took a shot. It was the last second of the game. We were down by three. I missed it. That was the game. Was there anything with um, it? When the possession before, were you not immediately thinking foul after you were pressing? You know, Steve's three cut it to one. I think it was 29 seconds. It wasn't until they crossed over the court. Was it not on your mind that foul would be earlier? I should have fouled a little bit earlier. I was regarding. Was there something you were seeing differently in the second half there? I mean, 16 points, you shot extremely well, or was it just the shots were falling? Just made some shots. Um, credit to my teammates for getting me good looks. Just made some shots. On that play, Hester, when, when you foul, were you kind of hoping that you guys did not want to foul Haggerty and then when you might pull picking up a fourth foul there, or did, you, did that go into it at all? I think um, just trying to foul the right guy, honestly. Any other questions for us here? Senior day pressing up to the three guys who still have time left if they wanted to do this today, or did you say, Hey, you guys are so, so something we talked about a few weeks ago with the academically that they would graduate? And uh, you know, I've been a part of some places where you get honored twice, you come back. And I think last year we did it at Penn State, um, and talked to those guys, and that's what we were looking at. And why do you think the energy wasn't there at the start? You no, know, it's a great question. Um, you know, disappointed because I thought we fought through that. Uh, when you come back home, there's distractions, and we talked about that. Coming back home, no distractions. It's you know, tickets. You deal with this and that. Like we didn't try to put all that to to rest. And I thought the way we played, uh, our energy and effort would have been there. We shot around this morning to get guys up and, and make sure. And they were talking. Uh, I was very happy with our shoot around. It was shorter than normal, but I was very happy with it. And, uh, disappointed with how we came out. Uh, Jordan had a very strong first half, but you know the first couple minutes of the second half where he's dropping the ball a lot, turning it over, and then he really didn't get it going again. What, what can you say about this you know, up and down day? Yeah, you know I think Jordan plays really hard. He did some great stuff for us. He got five rebounds. Um, he's he had a, a bruise. I'm sure you guys could see. He had a heating pad every time he came out of the game. Our athletic training staff did a great job trying to to get him ready just so he was able to play today. Uh, on that last play, it looked like. You brought him in for it. Could have been open. Was there a design there, or just how how the players felt? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's something we've run before. Um, it, it's letting Fade make the the read, um, but we, we knew we didn't need a three either at that point, so we could have driven the basketball and like we talked about it. Try to drive it hard, go to the basket, time, get a foul, go to the foul line, try to be strong with it, but. You bring Teo in to, you know, look, they're going to stay with him right in the game. Everybody knows. So we try to lift some guys up and uh, give great credit to Tulsa. Eric Conkle is a, a close friend of mine. We work together uh, at the University of Miami. Uh, he's a great mentor to me. His guys are always uh, hooked to the job he's done from year one to year two. But just so much respect for Tulsa and the way they play and compete. In terms of lack of energy, usually think about that being like not, you know, defensive or on the boards. It seemed like the early on, on offense, 
they get the shots where you get in the last five seconds of the clock over and over and over. Was that no, partly credit an to energy them. thing? Credit to their defense. <laughs> their defense was disruptive. Um, I thought they were more physical than we were. Um, and I, you know, I think we have to do a better job of starting and match that physicality and, and doing that in better pace. I thought we were too slow getting into some things. Did Shane, did Shane and Quante get hurt in practice this week? Uh, Quante Berry hurt his hand last game. He'll be evaluated again by a doctor on Tuesday. Um, Shane Dizzoni had back spasms right after the senior day ceremony and told us right after the senior day ceremony he couldn't play. Again. So he was, he was trying really hard to work through it and just wasn't able to, to move really. Uh, Coach, you mentioned the seniors that were on today with uh, uh, White, Akomo, and uh, Hoffman, they played really well in this game. White kind of got it going a little bit later in the game. And Sam Hoffman doesn't usually put, put up that many points on the scoreboard, but you know, does so many other things, diving for loose balls, had a lot of offensive rebounds. Can you speak about him and Akomo as well, where Akomo played big minutes, and when Hoffman picked up his fourth foul, he brought Akomo in. You felt comfortable doing that in that yeah. situation? Yeah, I think he must proven it, right? It's, uh, again, you guys heard me say it's how you practice, I think it's how you play. He's practiced great. He's come in, he's given us great minutes, whether it's one minute, 13 minutes, nine minutes. He just plays really, really hard. He rolls hard and puts some pressure on the defense. He's done some really good things in these last three, plus, three and a half weeks, five months. So, uh, you know, that, that's why this one hurts for me. You want to honor those guys. And, and that's what something we've talked about in our program. And I said, they're really, Guys, before the game, you're gonna, your senior day's gonna be here before you know it. So empty the tank today to get everything you've got for these guys. Uh, and I thought he, he really did it, he really stepped up. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.